are you? Fanamo Nemetani. Do you have the ingredients? This is all I need. I will prepare the dish now. It shan't take long. My people dwell in the mountains, so we are rarely able to dine on fish from the sea. This dish was first made by an elf with a craving for fish, when no fresh fish was to hand. These fish already stink of the sea. Left to rot, they turn even more um, pungent. <laughs> Nutriab is oft served at celebratory events, but I have never seen anyone eat it. Ev hmm. I must endure. It is almost finished, thankfully. The stink is more than I can bear. It is ready, but it is so vile. I cannot understand how anyone could stomach it. I fear the dwarven blacksmith will be angry if I present him with this. But I will trust in you. Come, let us away to Batal. I thank you. Here, my brother gave this to me. Might we not use it now? The sooner we arrive, the better. Never have I left the arbor before this moment. It is invigorating and not a little frightening. You're back! And who's that you've got with you? An elf? I ne'er met one afore. Not quite what I imagined, if I'm honest. Uh, well met. The name's Sarah. I'm an apprentice here at the smithy. Well met. She's the one who's after the scale cinder, I expect. Have you brought some of that elven delicacy along with you then, like I suggested? Yes, I have the Nutriarb with me. Marvellous. I thought I smelt it on you. Mark me, you put that in front of Brocker, and he'll fain hear out your request. Right, follow me. I've just cleaned out the forge, see, so we'll need to make for the cavern where we dump all the excess scale cinder. Come on, you two. The cavern's this way. Shall we follow Sir Sara, Master? With any luck, we'll have pockets full of scale cinder before the day is done. Understood. Right, here we are. Oi, Brocker, you in here? What's all this racket? I thought I told you that you, imbecile, you brought an elf here, of all things. Get her out of here, now- Hold a moment, Brocker. She's brought something for you. Don't you want to see what is? A gift, for you. Bah! What makes you think I'd be able to stomach your elven cooking? I'm gonna go dispose of this, and I expect the elf to be gone when I return. What am I to- What you came here for, of course! This is your chance! Truly? But- You'll have to be quick, mind. Brocker makes short work of his meals. While you're at it, you might have yourselves a little competition, eh? Anyway, good luck. I'll- We'd best leave it at that. Wouldn't want Brocker to aspire you in here. My heart is racing. I thought the dwarf would catch us. How much scale cinder did you get? Oh, you got much more than me. I suppose you win. <laughs> For now, I must return and tend to the Arbor Heart. I hope you will come visit us again. I should like you to see the Arbor Heart, um, restored. And I must thank you as well, Sarah. You and the blacksmith, Brocker. Not at all. It was my pleasure. 
I'm sure Brock would say the same if he weren't so stubborn. Now the Arbor Heart is sure to recover, and seeing Miss Darren's cheerful mien made all our labors worthwhile. You're here. You must come see. Look there. New buds. The Arbor Heart is recovered. And as she and I are as one, you saved her. I will never forget this debt of gratitude as long as I live. The Arbor Heart seems gladdened to have new life in her bows. Fortunate I am that we crossed paths. Perhaps we can uh, journey outside the Arbor together. <laughs>